What's up boys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing week 11 of the college basketball top 25 rankings. The week of college basketball. And as for a Super Bowl prediction, I was gonna do a whole thing on it. But I decided to just tell you guys right here and now, I'm going with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 33-24. As far as the rankings go, Carolina is not ranked, I know. Um, they were going to be ranked if they, I said last video, if Carolina went undefeated this week, beating Clemson and Duke, they would be ranked. But they did lose to Clemson, so I had to stay with what I said. And even though Carolina absolutely fantastic against Duke, I uh, got to leave them out this week. So, anyways, let's get right into the top 25. So, right number 25. Yes, UAB. I have to. I'm, su I'm such a big UAB guy. <coughs> Um, if there's a team that I had to cheer for, that's not UNC. I mean, UAB is just a legendary program, <laughs> you know. And they're having a really good season, so good for them. Top 25. Let's go. <clears throat> also, it would be, um, what's it called? Drake, but Drake did lose today. Uh, I really wanted to put him in. I was actually going to put him in, like, seriously, if they, if they would have won today. But they lost, so that's unfortunate for them. Number 24 is Louisville Cardinals, having a fairly good season. I kind of got into the top 25 just because a lot of other teams are losing. Uh, they replaced UCLA in the rankings. Number 23 is Belmont, uh, moving up two spots in the rankings. Have not lost uh, since last week uh, in a very, very long time, so got to move them up. Number 22 is Xavier. Another one of those good, pretty good teams in the uh, Big East, although I'm not very high in the Big East this year. Number 21 was Wisconsin, obviously playing in one of the best uh, conferences in college basketball, being the Big Ten, probably the best conference. Uh, it's so competitive. Pretty much any team can beat any team on any given night. And uh, Wisconsin is a very, very good team. Uh, just keeping their spot in the top 25 this week, though. Number 20 is Virginia Tech. Uh, coming off a big win against Virginia uh, not so long ago, uh, but they did lose, however, to, I believe it was Pitt, and then they didn't look too good against Miami either, so I got to move them down quite a bit. Still, the AR deserving a spot in the rankings, so I think they're at three losses or four now. Number 19 is USC. USC, in my opinion, is by far and away the best team in the Pac-12. They're definitely playing like it. They got a top... Five NBA prospect this year in Evan Mobley. He's playing good basketball. And USA overall as a team is playing good basketball. So I think this is the only team in the Pac-25 for the Pac-12. And I kind of expected to stay that way with UCLA losing the USC last night. Number 18, Florida State. Florida State obviously coming up a loss against Georgia Tech. Very disappointed about that. They should be. Um, Georgia Tech is a very good veteran team. Well, not very good, but they're very well put together veteran team that can that knows how the ACC works and know they can be have confidence that they can be anyone on any, any given night. And uh, Florida State just fell a little bit short, so they're moving down to 18 in this rankings. Number 17 is West Virginia, obviously a uh, big win over Kansas, I believe it was, uh, kicking them out of the top 25 ending their streak of like however many in a row it was. West Virginia, obviously in the Pac-12, second best conference in all of college basketball this year, and they're playing really good. Oklahoma. Oklahoma is a team who did, I believe, lose this week, but I had to move them up because I was kind of under-ranking under them for the past couple of weeks, so I moved them up just here this week. Number 15 is Iowa. They suffered two straight losses, and they are in the Big Ten. Uh, but they have not looked near like themselves the last couple of weeks, and they need to just be more consistent uh, to maintain a high spot in these rankings. Number 14 is Texas. I think the biggest faller in this video being Texas. I think they moved on like what? Mm, I want to say eight spots since last week. They're on a three-game losing streak. Yes, they're in the second best conference in, the, in being the Big 12, but at the end of the day, you got to win some games. And uh, Texas has not been able to do that in a couple of weeks now. And that's why they're moving down here to 14. But they're still a very, very talented team. Number 13, 
Texas Tech Red Raiders, another one of those Big 12 uh, powerhouse schools right now. What would I have seen this team, bro? Great coaching. Matt McClung is outperforming, I'm sure, what everyone has been expecting. And uh, proving that he can probably do pretty well in the NBA, I gotta say. So 13 for Texas Tech right now. Number 12 is Creighton. Uh, another eh, team out of the Big East, in my opinion. I uh, don't think they are the 12th best team in the country by any means. But just based on how everything in the season is going, that's what they got to view right now. Number 11 is the Missouri Tigers. Probably the most surprising team of the season, in my opinion. I did not see Missouri playing anything like this. Obviously, both Porter brothers are out of Missouri at this point, I believe. And uh, they're just playing better with that, I'll be honest with you. Number 11 for Missouri. Number 10 is Virginia, the one and only ACC school in the top 10. Virginia did come off a loss against Virginia Tech, but obviously that Virginia Tech team is a solid team and they are ranked, so I didn't punish them too much for that, and they're sitting at number 10 in this week's rankings. Number 9 is Tennessee. Tennessee is a team in the AP poll that fell uh, quite significantly, and I, I did lower them here based on their uh, pretty terrible loss against Ole Miss. But I this the team this is probably the best defensive team in the country in my opinion. Yes, above Baylor. Uh, Tennessee's defense is just absolutely insane. It's very hard to score against this team. Obviously they're nothing even close to uh, Baylor offensively, but defensively I think they're right there at them. So number nine for Tennessee. Number eight is the Alabama Crimson Tide. Very good team. Uh, team I've been underestimating, so I did raise them, at, um, although they did have suffer a loss earlier in the week. Number seven is Illinois, another one of those bigger risers, man. Uh, they were they've been strugg they were struggling in around the early January period, falling to I believe like 20th in my rankings. But they've won I believe four or five straight now, and they're proving that they are back into the top 10, well deserving of it, being. One of the best teams in the Big Ten, the best conference in college basketball. Number six is Houston, who did unfortunately lose. I think they lost ECU, which is not an impressive loss. But based on how everyone else is losing, I, I couldn't really hurt them that bad. I'm, I'm still really high on this Houston team, and that's just a bad loss. It's just a bad night for them, so I did, didn't punish them too much for that. Number five is Ohio State. Yes. My goodness, this Ohio State team has proved me wrong time and time again. This team's absolutely incredible. They've been playing very good basketball. I I really do think they deserve this spot. They've been beating ranked team after ranked team in the Big Ten Conference, the best conference, and they're playing the best team in the best conference right now. So I gotta give them credit for that. And they're at number five. Number four is Villanova. Villanova, yes, moving down from three to four this week. After their loss to St. John's, I believe. Uh, not a very good game for them, but you know, it's harder to go all year with only having one loss, so kind of expected it to happen at some point. Maybe not against St. John's, probably shouldn't have happened there. But Villanova is definitely a top five team in the nation still. Right here, number three, Michigan. Michigan, uh, right now, in my opinion, is not playing with the best team in college basketball. Obviously, they've had uh, a little pause in their program. That's why I'm saying Ohio State is a, is playing better than them right now. Uh, but Michigan, obviously, they only have the one loss in their number three this week. And, of course, the top two still unchanged. Baylor Bears in number two and the Gonzaga Bulldogs in number one. By far, in a way, the, the two best teams in the country, in my opinion, playing very good basketball. Um, Gonzaga actually did kind of have a, a little bit of a scare in the first half against who was it? Pacific, I believe, a couple days ago, but then they absolutely destroyed him in the second half. So it's arguable that Baylor is better, but right now I gotta keep Gonzaga at number one. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Please like, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.